tragedy. One of President Kennedy's pledges was to make America number one in space, and that promise got our technologies rolling. Computer enhancement of photographs became a new science, and in this next part of the story, you'll see how we use that new knowledge to show that there was at least a second assassin in Dallas. This is Dealey Plaza in downtown Dallas, a perfect place to kill a president. Behind me is the Texas School Book Depository where shell casings and a rifle were found. Just 50 feet from where John F. Kennedy was shot is this picket fence on a grassy knoll. Could this have been a cover for a second assassin? I saw a man moving. He was the only thing in the whole area that was moving and he was moving away toward the tracks from this in front of the school book depository rather quickly. And something said to me, go get him. Police officer Joe Smith also ran up the hill in pursuit of a suspect. The crowd followed officer Smith running toward the elusive gunman spotted on the grassy knoll. I ran across the uh, Elm Street to run up there toward that knoll it was, uh, and we were stopped by a man in a suit, and he had a overcoat on his uh, over his arm, and he he I saw a gun under that overcoat, and he his comment was, "Don't y'all come up here any further. You could get shot or, or hit killed." One of those words. A man wearing a suit was sighted behind the picket fence at the top of the knoll. He was quickly apprehended by Officer Smith. Stop right where you are. Don't you move now. What you doing here? Gentlemen, gentlemen. United States Secret Service. OK, partner. It's all right. A few months later, they told me they didn't have an FBI man in that area. If they didn't have anybody, it's a good question who it was. A House Select Committee conducted the last thorough investigation of the John F. Kennedy assassination. This is where the committee believed a second gunman would have stood. Some eyewitness accounts and acoustical evidence agree that at least one bullet was fired from this spot. A certain policeman in Dealey Plaza had noticed the day before the assassination some individuals behind the picket fence overlooking Dealey Plaza uh, appearing to uh, be pointing guns over at the plaza uh, as if they were uh, you know, about to have target practice. At 3M's Comtel Corporation, a firm that specializes in photographic analysis through computerized enhancements, a study of the destruction of the president's brain upon impact proves beyond a doubt that the fatal gunshot came from in front of the president's car. Second frame of impact. It came from Third. the grassy nose. Third frame. Stand by. The presidential car coming up now. We know it's the presidential car. You see Mrs. Kennedy's pink suit. There's a As the motorcade rushed to Parkland Hospital, the Dallas Police Department rushed to judgment, sending a swarm of officers to investigate the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository. And the first unconfirmed reports say the president was hit in the head. That's an unconfirmed report that the president was hit in the head. Meanwhile, just a few hundred feet from the grassy knoll, three tramps are arrested hiding inside a railroad boxcar. As they're released by the Dallas police, this photo is taken. The man in the center strongly resembles Charles Harrelson, now in prison for murdering a federal judge. Some say the man on the left looks like James Earl Ray, convicted assassin of Martin Luther King. And many believe the third tramp is none other than E. Howard Hunt of Watergate fame. Comtel agreed. Photo enhancement showed a striking resemblance to Hunt. Where were you on the day that John F. Kennedy was assassinated? I was in Washington, D.C. And I have three witnesses uh, who have testified under oath not once but many times as to my presence that day, all of whom were office associates of mine. Now I'd like to show you a picture, a picture taken of three tramps who were in Dealey Plaza on the day of the assassination. I'd like you to look at this picture, and I'd like you to tell me whether one of those tramps could have been you. It's a law of physics that you can't be in uh, two places at the same time, and I, since I was in Washington, D.C., it's quite obvious I couldn't have been in Dallas.
Still, some investigators are concerned about this intriguing letter to a Mr. Hunt asking for details about a meeting in Dallas. It was written shortly before the assassination, signed Lee Harvey Oswald. On the book depository sixth floor, police found three cartridge shells and shortly after a, a rifle, which they identified as a man liquor carcano. But a deputy sheriff, Roger Craig, insisted that he saw a Mauser, which uses different bullets. He also said the rifle's brand name was altered. On the street below, law enforcement officials and amateurs searched the scene of the shooting, while another crowd gathered outside the hospital walls. Some were mourners, others members of the press, but all were joined together in sorrow when the tragic news was announced. John F. Kennedy was dead. Approximately 45 minutes after the assassination, police officer J.D. Tippett was slain by a gunman here. Dallas policemen rushed to the scene to investigate the murder. A tip led them to the Texas theater where a suspicious man had been sighted.